Welcome back everybody to Volt. My name's Warrior009 and last episode I showed you guys how to make a basic smelting factory which is going on behind us here. Let me switch my camera. And surprisingly enough it does cook clay and it cooks potatoes. So there is an electric furnace that I thought would take the place of that but it seems to be fine. Like there's an electric furnace here that you could build but the basic smelting factory is working fine. Uh, if you didn't see last episode, the only reason we couldn't upgrade our basic smelting factory, there's two more, there's an advanced, let me get those up, there's an advanced and an ultimate smelting, so we have our basic one that we built, there's an advanced one and an elite one. The advanced one required diamond dust, which we need a crusher for, and that's what we're going to be doing today, we're going to make be making a crusher, and then we should be upgrading our energy, our battery box, so... In order to make our crusher, we need two lava buckets, more steel blocks, uh, redstone, and more control circuits. I mean, this is getting very repetitive quickly. Uh, let's see what we got here. We don't have enough steel, so we need to make some more. So we'll grab our couple compressed carbon here. Uh, we need our iron, or some iron, and some redstone. And we'll try to start making some steel real fast. Get your enriched alloy. Boom, boom. So we'll throw that in here. We'll get that going. And then we're going to look up what we're... So we're going to be doing the crusher first. And then we should be making a... A new battery box. We have one that right now that holds four mega jewels. Uh, we want to be making this advanced one. We can't quite make the quantum one yet because I don't know how to make antimatter. So, um, so we'll be making this soon. This will just take four batteries, some insulated wire, the original battery box, so we could go downstairs and break it, and then an advanced circuit. So, everything's relatively easy. Um, we do need our steel dust though. And one thing that I realized that the basic smelting factory does not do is when you have silver dust, it doesn't smelt silver dust. And I'm not sure why. It doesn't even smelt in a furnace. So I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if you actually need silver dust. But while well, we wait for to get some of these, so we'll take our baked potatoes. Our bricks are going. We don't need those today, but we have been using a lot of power, so that's why we are going to be making an advanced battery. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to make four batteries real quick. So we'll take our tin. We need redstone and coal to make our batteries. Batteries look like this. And four. So we'll have our four batteries ready. We'll go... Um, Alright, we have our steel, so we'll make... We're kind of doing two things at once here. So bear with me. Make our steel block. That is for our crusher. So for our crusher we have our steel block, two lava buckets. We'll switch back over to the crusher. Uh, we need redstone and basic circuits. So we have our redstone. Need some basic circuits or some control circuits. I'm going to stick with control circuits. They're just easier to make. So platinum and enriched alloy. We have our platinum. We have our iron. It's not how you do that. Do that. Um, let's we actually need four. takes me a little bit to get used to the recipes. I'm really used to the, all the Tekkit recipes, so... Do that. Take our Platinum. Control circuits. So for our Crusher, we only need two, but we need some for the other battery thing, so... We'll make our Crusher right now. Take your Steel Block. One Lava Bucket. Two Lava Buckets. Some Redstone. And are these things, our control circuits. So now we have a crusher, so we'll come over here, we'll place that down. We'll hook it up to our battery box that's really struggling for power. Actually, I don't have any copper cables left. Oh yeah, I do. 
go downstairs. We'll hook this up. Like this. Generator's going strong for now. We'll, we will be updating that soon. But I just want to show you what the crusher does first, and then we'll go down and we'll, um, we'll start doing the, the other things. So, for instance, if let's say you only have iron ingots, and that's the only thing you're able to have. You don't have any dust, and you need a dust. You can put that, put an ingot into the crusher. And I'll back up so we don't have a huge loud sound. And it's going along, and this will make this into one iron dust. So if you're in dire need of dust, you can put your ingots in there. Um, do be careful because you only get one dust back. So it is even. It's not like our enrich enrichment chamber. So when you put two, like I'll show you, uh, we don't have any ore up here. But when you put an, an ore into the enrichment chamber, you get two dust. And then you smelt that, so you get two bars. So then this is just kind of like a last resort type thing if you need iron dust. Um, there's also... For the need of one of our future things, you can take your diamonds. We'll go back upstairs. You can throw diamonds in here. Not that you really want to, but sometimes you have to. And this will make you diamond dust. And we need our diamond dust if, for in a future episode, if we want to make our advanced smelting. Our advanced smelting machine takes diamond dust, and the only way to get that is by putting a diamond into the crusher. So now that we have the crusher, and we have our diamond dust, now we're able to do that eventually. We're not going to be doing that today, but what we will be doing is replacing this battery box. So, an advanced battery box, we're going to go downstairs, we're going to take the old one. We're actually going to stop this. Take the old one. Thank you. We need, we have our four batteries. We need insulated copper and an advanced circuit. So uh, this is gonna be the first time you guys see a basic circuit from me. Uh, we need bronze plates, some insulated copper wire. Bronze plates are just four bronze ingots. If you don't have bronze, you can do it through steel. Same way, just make four steel ingots in a box. So we'll make it, I think we need two. So I'll make it one of each way, right? Yeah, we need two, so... Uh, let's see, do we have any wool? We are going to need some wool and some copper to make some more wires. So we'll do that fast. Like that. And then we need... We'll grab four bronze. And I don't have any steel with me, do I? Oh, there's three. Okay, good. And we'll throw that, where'd it go? Right there. We'll have four steel ingots, so we'll make the first one. We have control circuits, those will not work for this. We need basic circuits, so we'll make one bronze plate by doing this. And then the other one we'll make out of steel once we get the rest of the steel. But for this advanced circuit, need six redstone, eight diamond, so I'll have to go back downstairs and grab a diamond. And the bad thing is, this isn't tech it, so you can't condense and do all that fancy stuff with diamonds, so it's a, well, it's a little bit harder. In tech it, you could use diamonds whenever you wanted. Come back over here, we'll grab our steel, and then the other one will be made out of the steel plate recipe, so you guys will see both. So there's the steel plate, and there's a bronze plate. Just put it in a square, a four. So the first one we'll make out of the bronze. So you can do either insulated copper wire or this little squirrely copper wire. The squirrely copper wire, if I can click on it, all right, is just if you put the insulated. So it's just like that. I don't know why they resistance is 50 milliohms, max amps 360. Normal wire does not shock you. Max amps a thousand. So the amp, it, the max amps that's allowed to take goes up, and the resistance is the same. So I'm not. I'm sure we'll find a, a use for that eventually, but we'll just use the insulated copper wire for now. So for this, we need four four redstone and our plate. 
So we put our plate, redstone, and wire. And that's one basic circuit. And then the other recipe is the steel plate for redstone and for copper wires. And that's the other that's the other res recipe. It makes the same thing, so don't worry. And then for our advanced battery box, we are going to take our original battery box, put that actually up there, and before that, we're actually going to have to make our advanced circuit. So go like this, take our diamond, redstone, that's our advanced circuit. Then we take our battery boxes up top. So put that there, our battery box is there, and it put it back in here for some reason. <laughs> Take our batteries, two batteries, three batteries, four batteries, and our three wires. And I'm not sure why that didn't work. We have an advanced circuit, we have everything that, hmm, is this the wrong batteries? Do I have to charge them? Hmm. We have batteries. Okay, sorry about that. Small hiccup with the advanced battery box. I did figure out the issue though. Well, I figured out what could be the issue. I'm not 100% sure on what it did. Uh, I did make a new battery box. Came down here, made a new battery box. I put my batteries in there and it filled up my batteries. Uh, that didn't seem to do it, so I don't think it was the actual batteries having power but what did happen was I made a new battery box on top of that and that actually allowed me to make it so it seems like you can't use an old battery box that you've used I have no idea why because it resets the battery box anyways it doesn't store your power so but now this this allowed us to make a new advanced battery box uh, so you didn't need to make a a new one like I said I'm not sure why but now we have our advanced battery box. This actually holds one more uh, mega joule than this small one. So as you guys can see here, this holds four mega joules. Voltage is 120. We're actually going to take this out, even though it's just wasted a lot of power there. So we'll place down our advanced battery box. We will use our wrench. And if you guys don't know how to make a wrench, uh, it's just a diamond and three pieces of steel. It's pretty easy. Change that around. We'll look at the GUI of this. This is making us more power. This holds five megajoules. The voltage is a bit higher. Um, I don't think that's going to affect our machines quite yet. At least it shouldn't, so it doesn't look like it has. But what happened here is there's a new GUI. So the old one, we'll put down the old one. I'll show you guys the differences right side by side here. So this battery box had a battery slot. So you could put a battery here and it put it in here. Or you could put a battery up here and it'd take away from the battery box. Same thing here. If you put a stored a battery with um, any any kilojoules, any joules in it, it'll take it to the battery box. If you put it up here, it'll take it from the battery box. And then over here we have a couple more upgrades. Um, let me see if I can see what they are exactly. So there's about there's seven different upgrades. We have basic storage, which gives you an additional one megajoule of storage. Advanced storage gives you two megajoules, elite storage gives you three megajoules, and ultimate storage gives you five megajoules. So it looks like we can put it all the way up to ten. Um, there's also a down transformer, which cuts the current output in half, so the voltage, the current, uh, the current output voltage, well oh, that's a mouthful, is 240. You could cut it down to 120 if you need to. Um, I have a feeling that's going to come into play later with a different battery box or something. Right now it doesn't seem to be affecting it, but uh, we also have HV power, which multiplies the current by 20. Uh, I'm not sure what that does right away. I'm sure it will come into play later. And an HV acceptor, which allows the battery box to accept 20 times its normal power. So that will probably come into play when you start messing around with um, the fission reactors and fusion reactors and all those fancy things. So... Um, I hope you guys learned something from this episode, either from the Crusher or the Advanced Battery Box. I had a little bit of a hiccup with the Advanced Battery Box, but we did get it working. It is now holding, well, it can hold more. Um, I do want to replace this coal generator eventually. We will be doing that soon now that we have we have the, the machines that 
that we need to make things. So um, I'll look into some different types of energy energy production. If you guys have any ideas, if you guys want to see solar power, um, I'm not sure what the other ones. I know there's a fission and fusion reactor. There's some other things. Uh, we'll probably stick with either solar power for now or the um, the lava. Even though we don't have a ton. There's a little bit of lava underneath us, but not a lot. So we'll figure out something. But let me know if you guys want to see anything more specific. And now we can start doing some more things. Now that we have the machines to do things. We have the materials to do things. So we'll start launching missiles and making explosives and doing all that stuff soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and have a nice day.